You're listening to The Brand Compass, conversations to navigate your way to building a brand fit for purpose and poised for success. Here's your host, Shelley Rosland. Hello there, my friend, and welcome back for another installment. And thank you once again for joining me. This is where we get into the tickly topics that center around how our personal brand meets the humans we serve. I'm Shelley, and yes, that is an accent you hear. I'm South African. I live in England. I'm married to a Swede. I met in an Aussie bar in Vienna. Long story, another episode. Let's just say that my life was somewhat more varied before becoming a wife and a mum to a teenager. I am your host on this conversational journey and much of what I get into in these episodes comes from parts of my own journey as well as, of course, those of my clients. Personal brand is so well personal and I'm learning more and more every day why it's important to really dig deep and get into those building blocks that make up you. If you are perhaps in a life chapter similar to mine, you may, like me, have struggled a bit in finding yourself buried under this mountain of adult responsibility and life admin. But let's stick together, okay? Because we're going to dig ourselves out from under that mountain of adulthood. Your voice is important. Let's find it again and bring it out to play. Today's episode may really help you with that. Back in 2012, I wrote a blog post that pitted the value of knowledge against imagination. And recently I came across it again. And while I was chatting to Imogen, my podcast manager, we were kind of reflecting on how actually my view has changed since writing that 10 plus years ago. Today, I think that, well, back then I actually thought that imagination was far more important than knowledge, but today I feel like they are equally important and much more potent when they are used together. Now, I think of the many creators that I like on Instagram and on LinkedIn, for example, they really make me giggle and they prompt me to think, but they do it through this imaginative way in which they've managed to make me stop and actually pay attention to what they are doing. Then over time, because I've already enjoyed their content in the past, I'm much more open to consuming more of what they do. Now, don't get me wrong, not all of these people have necessarily fully developed their personal brands, but that's not really the point. What they have done is found a way to creatively and imaginatively convince me that they are smart and I should pay attention to them. So, How can you do the same? How can you use the power twins of knowledge and imagination when marketing or communicating with the outside world? Are you curious? Great, let's jump into this episode. The brain is a live muscle that thrives on being flexed and pulsed in order to grow and stay healthy. What we tend to forget in our everyday lives is that it's not only just what we know that defines us, but it's also through the things that we create and what we actually experience. It's this creativity and kinesthetic behavior that contributes to our brain's flourishing growth. What this comes down to for you is that it's important to just not just tell your audience what it is that you do, but rather focus on spinning them a tale. Educate them, yes, but do it through stories. Look at your words, your visuals, and just put some flair into it. This will be what helps you to stand out in this really noisy, flooded, AI, polluted content newsfeed that we have at the moment. For me, imagination is very much a big part of my makeup and what motivates me to do things and to achieve things. Sometimes my imagination is what saves me when I'm low and I feel like I'm buried under a dark hole of impossibility. Yes, that means a bad day (laughs) for me. (laughs) I've always held a really strong belief that people who consistently exercise their imagination even in any kind of small way, have the ability to overcome 
some of life's hardest knocks and challenges. Jumping into a different space or world pulls my brain away from its steadfast focus on trying to keep me safe from a bad day and tempting me to curl up in a ball and hide under an unarguably comfortable throw. If you can paint a scenario or a scene in your head where your heart and your mind are transported to a place of feeling, where you are perhaps jubilant or enthused, excited, peaceful, or even motivated, you are halfway to altering your present state. The trip your imagination can take you on, more often than not, will give you a burst of renewed vigor or energy to make what you are dreaming become a reality. Even if it's just to take the actions to move you closer to making that dream possible. Now, I'm going to pose this question to you. What if you could use that skill of imagination and distracting your brain from its day-to-day blur and use it to go and do that for somebody else through conversation or even in the content that you create. That, my friend, would stop them short. Their thumb scroll would instantly still and you'd have them ready to listen to you. How do you feel about using your imagination now? Now let me share what I think about knowledge and how it powers up imagination and vice versa. I feel like knowledge is the gold dust that settles and glitters through everything that you say and do when you are communicating. I have a whole episode devoted to how I feel about knowledge and especially when it comes to subject experts like yourself. So go and have a look at that and listen to that. That's episode 17. So I go into much more depth there. But ultimately, knowledge is hard won over time and it only glitters if it's constantly refreshed and updated. I'm very passionate about that side of the knowledge. I think that magic truly happens when you can use your knowledge and your intellect as the strong basis behind your imagination and then marry the two so you can stop people in their tracks draw them in and gently wow them with your smarts. I know you're listening in audio, but on the camera, I've just done jazz hands. When you can use your knowledge and imagination to help others to feel good about themselves, lift their mood or teach them something simple that they can instantly grasp, then you're winning. The key is to also ensure though that you are being true to yourself. Infuse your personality, values, and style into your marketing and communication. See these as a lens through which you can create any messaging or content. So your personal brand strategy work uncovers all of these delights about you to help with this. Imagination and knowledge are powerful partners. While one may be more prevalent than the other at times, the key is that They are empathetic to each other at all times. Remember, the world is about to get even noisier for a while. While these artificial intelligence content creation tools go through their cycle of being truly unhelpful in increasing the volume of low-grade content out into the world. Yes, the humans also have to learn how to use some of these (laughs) magnificent AI tools. It's going to be up to you and I to work that bit harder to stimulate our audience's imagination and trigger them to stop, pay attention, and then engage or connect with us. Pull the lever of imagination to power up that gorgeous, smart brain of yours. Now, I realize that imagination is not everybody's strength, but there are some pretty amazing human copywriters out there who could actually step in and help you with this. They are real life ones, not the one that actually lives inside chat GPT. And that's it for today's episode, my friend. How was that? Can you see the beauty and the benefit of imagination? I'll share a couple of the creators that do stop me in my tracks and that I just love 
consuming the content and they are really, really smart. I'll pop those in the show notes for you so you can go and have a look. Thank you so much for your ear today. As always, I really appreciate it. I really hope this has flared up something for you and and I look forward to it if you could just send me a DM. Let me know how it fell for you. Let me know what you think after listening. Who do you know who could do with hearing about these power twins of knowledge and imagination? Go on, share this episode. You know you want to. Until next time, my friend, stay strong, believe you have value, and make good brand decisions. Thank you for listening to The Brand Compass. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with your entrepreneurial friends and help them make good brand decisions. Until next time, let's keep the conversation going at shellyrosland.com.